Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and now let's explore the properties of kite. You know, kite is a four-sided figure. Here is one drawn for you. It's a quadrilateral since it is a four-sided figure. Now what is so special about a kite? It has two pairs of equal size. And one very special thing is that if I draw the diagonals of a kite, then then what happens? They intersect at 90 degrees, right? So, so that makes it very special. And there are some rotational symmetry points. So it has how many lines of symmetry and how many rotational symmetries. That is also very characteristics of a kite, right? So for you, think about these properties and let me list all these properties one by one starting with number of sides so so we have four sides since it is a quadrilateral right we have four sides and out of which we have two equal pairs right so adjacent sides are equal right so we have two equal pairs of sides now if you sum the angles, the interior angles, then sum of angles, interior angles I should write, is 360 degrees as it is for any quadrilateral, right? So a quadrilateral will have four sides and sum of its interior angles will always be 360. So when you add them up, it will be 360 degrees. Now in a kite, do we have parallel sides? It has no parallel sides. That is very important to understand. So these sides may look parallel here, but they are not indeed parallel. Okay. So kites do not have parallel sides. This is very important to understand. Right. How about lines of symmetry? It has one line of symmetry, right? One line of symmetry. And how about the rotational symmetry? It has zero rotational symmetry. Can you name another quadrilateral which has zero rotational symmetry? Name one. You have just learned about it, right? Now what else can you say about the kite? Well, the diagonals, right? So, diagonals intersect. at right angles correct so these are very important things which we can consider about a kite okay now whenever you have this diagonal then one of them will actually be equal but the other won't be equal so that's kind of typical right so with this i think we'll learn properties of few quadrilaterals. Now as an exercise, you can think how kite is similar to rhombus, how is it different from trapezoid, how is it similar to parallelogram, or does it have any similarity with squares and rectangles? Think about these things and then we'll have some review questions for you. Thank you and all the best.